For those of you who have been following the series, you'll know that um, this back area for Little Blue 2 is currently a mess. I still have my books here, um, that I, my hardback books that I carry. I'm trying to get back into C++ programming here. And um, junk, because I haven't gone through it. Um, I do have drawers here for food. So I can move all the clothes out and put food back in and kitchen type stuff. And I have my um, some clothes, to a nice clothes to wear if I have a job interview or something like that. Including my jacket, which I, you know, took out of the um, yurt. I think the rest of my clothes is bad. They've all gotten mold on them, so I'm probably going to have to go back there and toss everything. But um, I have my um, table here that my friend Stuart got me, which is an excellent buy. It's a collapsible table that folds out. And this chair that he got me as well. So, and more junk there that I need to go through. But anyhow, um, you'll see that it's kind of mess right now. And the reason is just because I haven't had time to go through it. Um, I do have this cooker that I, I probably need to use to show you guys how you can cook using a um, sandwich maker. It was a rival sandwich maker. I think it was like 15 bucks. You can make sandwiches with this thing. So... We had done some sandwiches when, you know, I first started my van living or was testing the unit, the system out. But what I found field-wide, field-wise, what I actually used, I usually used the rice cooker and I didn't use the uh, sandwich maker because I'm Asian and I eat rice every day. I don't eat sandwiches. Not that often. So, sandwich maker can be used for making sandwiches. For those of you who like sandwiches, hot sandwiches, this is invaluable because this one here, I can't remember how many watts it takes. Let's take a look. Usually you can tell how many watts something takes because on the back it'll tell you. This thing says it takes 750 watts, which is exactly how much my um, inverter will go up to. So this system, this thing will take up the maximum wattage that I can put out with my inverter. So um, I may try it here over the next couple days to make a sandwich, a hot sandwich, to show new viewers how this works. My inverter is only 750 watts, so it would be maxed out. Um, I do have my tools and other items down here, which I need to sort through. And some more storage, which is uh, currently a mess. But, you'll notice this little area here. This is actually a little work table for me to work right now. But I'm contemplating it. Maybe, or maybe I'll use this section. Turning this thing into an air conditioning unit holder. Yeah. Thinking of upgrading Little Blue 2 with a full-blown AC unit. To run that AC unit, I'm probably going to use a, um, a generator. Not that I'm going to be running it all the time. But I'm contemplating doing it because... If it looks like I'm going to restore Little Blue 2, which is a possibility, even though there's some serious issues going on right now with her. Um, if I do end up restoring Little Blue 2 for Journey, it's going to be designed to carry my wife and I across the United States. I think it's kind of foolish, maybe foolhardy, to try to make a trip on a vehicle that has 330,000 miles already on it. But Little Blue 2 has carried me this far so far and um, has kept me alive. So I think if we can fix the air conditioning system and get the um, injector system working out, hopefully everything else is still going to last long enough for the journey. Um, we might try to do it in this vehicle. I had contemplated getting a full-size van to do the journey, the trip. And while it would be more comfortable for two people inside a full-size size van, because I could build a bathroom and everything in it, a kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom, um... The issue will be gasoline, gas mileage. Because we're not planning on just living in the van and parking somewhere and staying there. We're actually planning on traveling across the entire United States. I think it's going to be better to go with a minivan. Because I'll be doing more traveling than I will just sitting. Like, we might only stay in a place for a day or two. Not like a week or a month. And I don't know if you understand the difference. If I'm... Um, living in a van and not really traveling to sightsee and stuff like that then I would want a bigger vehicle because I want comfort because I'm usually staying in one town or two or whatever I'm not traveling very much but if I'm doing what I'm planning on doing with my wife which is touring the United States I want a vehicle that gets the best gas mileage um, and it's most versatile and easy to drive 
which is a minivan, which would be one that I'm very familiar with that has um, carried me through all this time. <sighs> Gotta test this out and see if it, it'll be comfortable enough for two people to sleep in all night. Because it is only like a twin size bed. Otherwise, I have to rip apart that whole shelving unit and change it so that the bed goes across. That'll give about an additional 10 inches or so of sleeping space. This back section, I think it will leave the same. But what I may do is modify it so that an air conditioning unit can come right here. And the significance of that is so that if we ever decide to go into an RV place, whatever, or a campground that had electricity, we could plug in electricity, or if we're in the boondocks, hook up a generator, maybe attach it down here on my um, hitch, which is actually, I wonder why it's so low, but it is very low, um, and run a generator to run the air conditioning system. You might be wondering how that would work, you know, with the window, the, the, um, the hood shut. Well, the thing is, you'd run it with the hood open like this, and I'd have a fake false wall here with a cutout for the AC and let it drip down here. So it would actually stay still. You would not run the AC with the um, rear door shut. You'd have to open it up like this. So you're either out there in the boondocks where you don't care how it looks or you're parked at a friend's house or something where hopefully you don't care, you know, or neighbors don't care that you're out there for a day or two. But it would allow the AC to run and the interior here to be extremely cold. Um, right now with the two fans that I have, it's actually very cool. Speaking of which, I probably need to shut them off because I'm wasting electricity here off my battery. Actually, battery's recharging right now and the rice cooker is done. I can see it's at 21 here. But anyhow, um, that's a potential future plan for Little Blue 2. She might be reconfigured to get yet again for full time traveling. Not living, but traveling in. Well, we'd be living in it while we're traveling, but... It's not going to be set for comfort of living, but more comfort for um, driving and sleeping. And of course, we'll still be able to cook because I'd want my kitchen back here just like before it worked out really well. And it would work out well if we're out in the boonies somewhere cooking. Meanwhile, the inverter cooking system can still cook up front. So stay tuned. I'll keep you posted as uh, things happen because right now I'm still not quite sure, but that is a potential plan.